Should we just should we just keep rolling? Should we should we keep rolling? Here I am. Just come back from a fresh win in Singapore. The champ, the Waikato Warrior, Cara George. How are you feeling, buddy? Uh, yeah, be feeling pretty good now. Um, come back, eating some good food, spending time with family. Uh, the part that uh, all fighters look forward to, you know, the post-fight uh, celebration. So that's been me for the last couple of weeks. Um, me and my partner just got back from Thailand, so straight after the fight we went and had a little break in Thailand. I tried a little bit of Muay Thai over there, actually, it was quite fun. So. I actually saw that and I made a comment on it, because, you know, a lot of boxers, uh, kickboxers go to boxing. We don't often see boxers uh, go to kickboxing, and, you know, done, done a little bit of training myself, watching those kicks, watching your flow, you had it going on, bro. Like, it was, there was some solid kicks and technique there. Yeah, cheers. Um, I think just, uh, you know, my coach is Lolo Hamuli, you know, he's a renowned kickboxing coach, so... You can't really be part of the Balmoral League eh, unless you muck around with some kicks and stuff too. So I always find it fun, but you know, boxing's uh, is my thing, and it, that's what I'm going to stick to. But I don't know. You never say never. But um, I'm 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 here to dominate the boxing game, man. I love the hairstyle too. Did you just redo it, or is that still from Singapore? No, no, it's, that's still from um, Singapore. But it was done pretty fresh. Like I dyed it the day that I flew out, so it's, it's still pretty fresh. I actually need to dye it back because like I'm still in Waikato Warrior mode. So I'm just turning around flinching people you know because I'm still in that Waikato warrior mode the, the hair's still super saiyan yeah, unlike, unlike our last interview there's probably not going to be any brawls breaking out and us getting distracted uh, I know oh, man. <laughs> glad rap channel man you got to keep this guy and he's super professional uh, the last interview did a, a little brawl broke out and I was oh, I wanted to stop and watch it but our man kept the interview rolling super professional that was me always trying to distract me speaking of that you know we loved watching your fight over in Singapore you got a good thing going on you know you going over Nort Bochamp going over putting you know the, the Kiwis on the map what's next mate like you're going to go back over here you're going to fight here what, what do we want to tell the people watching back home um, uh, so far I think I'm just going to take the rest of the year off a pretty quiet end of the year um, I think David's pretty much winding down his year too so uh, I felt real good going into the fight uh, there's no um, you know training with these guys uh, David Nika and Josh Nika are my training partners so you can't help but be good trying to keep up with these guys you know they're pushing me to the limits all the time and the performance showed over in Singapore so um, big credit to my, tr my, my training partners really well, there you have it folks, the Waikato Warrior, he's putting New Zealand on the map, Cora George, watch out for this boy, he's certainly making uh, a hit over around the world and here in New Zealand, thank you. Thank you.